Hey Brick Maniacs, it is Lando here at the designer's desk of John Canepa with his all new ISU-122. Is it a self-propelled gun or a howitzer or It's or a self-propelled gun and a self-propelled howitzer and a powerful assault gun and Ooh. a long range tank destroyer. There we go. We can destroy tanks from a very far distance yeah. so we can't get hurt because we can run away. Cool, this, very cool model. Yeah, and look at the... That's oh, not that's him. not the right guy. God, God. Landon. I, How could I, you? There's supposed to be syndrome in there. <laughs> I don't think it is. Yeah, but look how look at good, good he looks. Historical accuracy. Look how good he looks <laughs> with his orange good. hair. Okay, seriously. The we're using army. the uh, Russian tank commander or tank crewman, whatever Tanker, you want to call yeah, him. Tanker, yeah, whatever. Um, same actual uh, crewman that you got in the... Uh, T-34-85, T right? Maybe a side-by-side -side comparison for a uh, scale sure. here. So, you know, T-34-85 is a big tank, but this one's a little bit bigger. It's sure. got a 122 millimeter gun on it. Yeah. Big boomer. Right. Yeah, right? According to Jar Jar. Uh, look how nice that rolls. Oh Very nice. God, it's like butter. Butter, churning butter. Anyway, uh, so this tank's very cool. <laughs> Slam did an excellent job on the artwork for this. Yes. Um, he told me what everything means on the side, and I can't remember anything he said, <laughs> but uh, I, uh, this one means like for the, mo for the motherland, I believe. Slam, hey, where hey, are Slam. you? I can't remember what all these things mean on the side of the tank. Uh, I know what the 47 means, that means 47, <laughs> but uh, this little one here means... I'm actually eating for, an apple on this, great. For the motherland? That one is for the motherland, yeah. Okay, I remember that one, and then this one says... Buckwheat. Buckwheat. Okay. Is the name of the tank. The name of the tank. Very assume. Assume. Buckwheat. It's also a very uh, useful item. Buckwheat is. Uh, <laughs> and then this yeah. says. For uh, the honor of our tank crews. Ooh. For the honor of our tank crews. Very cool. So. Yep. Thanks, Slam. Honor our tank. Thanks, Slam. Nice job in the artwork. Isn't yes. Nice. And he's got you know we got some really cool uh, the oil can covers here, gas yeah. can covers, and then the rear uh, covers here for the rear hatch. So this one's got a. A plethora of hatches. Ah. Can I say that? Plethora? We've got the <laughs> rear hatch to get in, in, into the engine. <laughs> yeah, I think you can say, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Is that legal? Uh, I'll check with our producer. To get into the uh, engine compartment there, you've also got this piece here, which I'll pop off. So as you what? see, you can get into the There's entire uh, engine compartment and put an engine in if you want. You know. So much room for activities in there, right, John? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. If you want to have Anything. them playing, a po playing poker in there, whatever. Um, so you've got the, the main sort of uh, commander's hatch here. So we'll put him back in here. See, that's that's a we've had this figure for a while. Nice, cool, simple. It's a very, very cool tanker. figure. Um, decked nice. out in that black. It's kind of like a super dark blue in some pictures. Um, super, super, super dark blue. Yeah, but it's uh, still a very cool print. Yeah. And it goes. It's a great looking tank uh, tank crewman. Thanks, John. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's the one hatch. Then we've got another hatch here. We'll open this hatch up. So you can see there's a... Oops. Oh. oh, John broke everything. Man down. John broke everything, but you know this Lego, so we just put it right back on. No must, no fuss. <laughs> and then we've got one more. Uh, I was uh, proud of this one because it opens... Is this is supposed to open like this. So you actually have room for another crewman to go back here. And I forgot to show you that there's no. also... Yeah, he can go right there. Look at that. Just hanging out back there's there. There's another little hatch to get into the engine compartment. How many hatches this does this thing have? piece that comes off. So it does have a lot of hatches. Five it's, hatches. It's not, a, it's not my fault. I, we just <laughs> go by what we see. So comes a little shovel on the side. If you need a shovel, whatever you need a shovel. Two nice star prints on here. Very One, nice. One, two. And again, gets a pretty good amount of elevation. Look at that. We can destroy a tank from very far away <laughs> or very close depending on what's happening. Very so close. for example, if Rommel's mm. trying to make a run for it, we can be right on his tail and blow him right away. <laughs> Boo! And let's that is let's the, simulate uh, that. Boom! And that okay. is the uh, brick arms gun barrel we have on there, correct? That is true. Uh, Some nice brick arms. Right. 76 millimeter gun barrel, but guess what? We've added a longer barrel, so what? it's 122 millimeters. There you so. go. I think that has to do with the shell, but why not? Let's just count. This is extra. Anyway, so yeah, so it's a great tank. It goes great with the T-3485 or the SU-76. 
which you can always take your, now this is not historically accurate, but we can always take uh, Maria and put Maria in there. So Maria can drive this around for a while. Put this guy over here, so, or we can take this tank and put this tank over here and with this tank and put Maria over here and then maybe grab uh, little Cody and put little Cody in here and so little Cody can drive that tank and uh, this guy can be on the back. I'm just letting this happen, this is fine. Chewbacca can be there. Chewbacca? Well, because you know what? Chewbacca. You, you can use your imagination. This is imagination land, right? You can do whatever you want. It's Brickmania. Oh, it's Brickmania, right. Actually, technically it's Brickmania. Technically it's Brickmania. So, or we have, what well, we have? A Russian soldier. Can so Russian straight soldier. from the imagination of John Canapa. No, this know. is the uh, yeah, World War II Russian ISU-122. This guy doesn't have a head. A very nice design here. by John Canapa. For more information on this model and all these awesome models, oh. please check out Brickmania.com. Thank you very much for watching and Thanks subscribing. Thanks for watching. All right, cool. See you next time. That's Whee! it. That's the episode.